Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this really fun and easy bobble stitch border. It's super versatile, you can change how close you want your bobbles to be. They're really easy for going around corners and it's suitable for literally any project. So to create these funky little bobbles for your border, you can see my yarn is already attached to my project. We're simply going to chain three. One, two, three. Now working into that very first chain you made, we're going to do a double crochet five together. I'll walk you through it step by step, so don't panic. We're going to yarn over and go into that very first chain. I'm just going to pick up the top loop just for ease. I'm going to yarn over and drop a loop. I've got three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and then stop. One half finished double crochet stitch hanging from my hook. I need four more of those. So again, yarn over, go back into that same chain, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops then stop. I now have two half finished stitches hanging from my hook. Again, yarn over, go into that same chain, pull through a loop, yarn over and pull through the first two loops on your hook and then stop. One, two, three half finished stitches. Again, I need five in total. So yarn over, Go back into that chain, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. One, two, three, four half finished stitches hanging from my hook. I need one more, so yarn over, go back into that same chain, drop a loop, yarn over, draw through the first two loops on your hook and then stop. So I have one, two, three, four, five half finished double crochet stitches hanging from my hook and six loops on my hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now to draw these five double crochet stitches together, I'm going to yarn over and draw that yarn through all six loops on my hook. Then with your thumb, push that bobble backwards and we're going to slip stitch into the very next stitch. So this is the stitch I just chained from. I'm going to slip stitch into the next one to anchor that bobble down. Then it is up to you how closely you want your bobbles to sit together. For mine along this edge, I have slip stitched into five stitches. So I've already slip stitched into one I'm going to slip stitch into the next four. It is completely up to you how many stitches apart you want your bubbles to be. So I slip stitched into one, two, three, four, five, and then I begin the bubble again. So chain three, Work double crochet five together into that very first chain. So essentially you're just working five half finished double crochet stitches into that same chain. That's two. That's three. That's four. And that's five. And once you have five half finished stitches hanging from your hook and six loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through all six loops, push that little bobble backwards and slip stitch into the next stitch to secure it down. And that's all there is to it. Continue this little bobble, secure it down with slip stitches all the way around your project. When coming to a corner for working your bubbles around the corner, 
The only thing you may need to fudge a little bit is the stitch count. Now I, up the side of this blanket, have been doing five slip stitches in between my bobbles. My fifth slip stitch ends one shy of my corner space. But the joy of this is, don't worry about that, no one will notice in the finished project. I've just slip stitched under the next, slip stitched into my corner space, and then I'm going to do my bobble into that corner. So it's highly flexible. You don't need to really worry about stitch counts or any particular special thing you need to do on the corners. You simply work your little bobbles all the way around your project. And you can, as I say, fudge it for on the corners. Once you have finished your very last bobble, slip stitch it to secure it down and then chain one, snip your yarn, leaving a long tail to weave in, pull that up, pull it tight and you've created a funky bobble border around whatever project it is that you're crocheting. So I hope you enjoyed this super quick tutorial and I hope you go on to use this super fun tactile border for all your crochet projects.